Hello friends, I'm Parways and this is our 36th video in PyQt5 GUI programming with Python 3. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, select or retrieve your uh, data from MySQL database and how you can add that to a, a text edit. Uh, for this, I'm using Qt Designer for my basic designation of the application. Uh, open your Qt Designer. I'm going to open my Qt Designer. Uh, <clears throat> my Qt Designer is in the lab. If you don't know how you can install Qt Designer, I will add a link and you can install that. Because uh, when you're installing PyQt5, uh, there is no Qt Designer of PyQt5. Uh, you need to install another package that is called uh, uh, PyQt5 uh, tools. Okay, now I'm going to open that. Mm, qt5 by qt5 dash tools and open your designer.exe <coughs> okay uh, now create and remove the menu bar like this after that I'm going to add a text edit in here a label and a push button okay like this uh, I'm going to change the label to uh, select data from MySQL database in PyQt5. Okay. Now let me change the text from here. Uh, the text should be the font. Yeah, font, and change this to. <coughs> and make it bold like this uh, let me yeah after that make it bigger like this Also, you can add layout, but uh, for right now, I, uh, I'm not going to add layout. And change the push button to load data. Okay. After that, save your... Okay, let me... I should... Because it's uh, now... The font of this text edit is so small. Let me change the font of this to 14 and also bold okay now I'm going to save this and I want to add this to this local disk C and I change the name to select data UI save I have already okay yes now I'm going to open my uh, drive C and I'm going to copy the select data because I'm going to convert this and paste it where you have your PyYUIC. Uh, let me that's in the script and paste it in here. Okay, now I have this in here, and you can see that I have PyYUIC in this section. After that, CMD uh, open your command uh, prompt. And write pyuic 5 x and uh, give it your UI name, select data dot UI dash O and give a name to your Python file retrieve data dot py. After that hit enter. Okay, now it's converted. You can see that we have retrieved data. Uh, after this, open your PyCharm ID and uh, like this and uh, this is where I have my file. Let me find this. Retrieve data and uh, sorry
drag and drop this in here like this okay now open this retrieve data let me run this you can see that now we have our text edit with a button the button the button is not centered okay no problem <coughs> Uh, after that, I'm going to remove these comments and uh, defining a new method in here. Diff um, load data like this, and also you need some imports in here. Import MySQL DB as MDB. Uh, also, you need to import from PyQt5 that Qt GUI import. Uh, Q text cursor like this okay now I'm going to make a connection object md dot connect local host uh, the username is root the password I don't have and the database name is pyqt5 uh, let me open my database in here uh, you can see I have a database at name of PyQt5 and I have a table data and there are three uh, rows in here okay now with con I'm going to make a cursor object cur con dot cursor like this after that I'm going to execute this dot execute select all from uh, data my table name is data after that I'm going to make a for loop for i n range uh, for i n range cur dot row count I'm going to make a result in here result and fetch all data fetch sorry fetch all okay uh, after that I'm going to make another for loop for a row and result I'm going to make a text cursor object self cursor dot q text cursor and self dot text edit dot document and self dot cursor dot insert text row okay and I should convert this to str string because it will give me error. Now I'm going to uh, let me make it okay space okay. Uh, now I'm going to connect my method to my push button. Cell dot push button dot collect dot connect cell dot load it was load data uh, now I'm going to run this okay now if I click on this load data you can see that now I have the three data in here uh, the ID the name and also the email address uh, also you can change for example you need just uh, mm, the ID you can let me add a backslash in for this row zero if I run this and if I load data okay I'm receiving okay because it is uh, okay uh, I should make this one because I'm going to uh, I, I'm going to in here convert uh, to string okay and backslash in now if I run this load data you can see that now I have uh, name m names in here 
if you want to retrieve the retrieve the email address you can give this, that and if I run this and if I load data you can see that now I have email address in here uh, thank you guys uh, this was our 36th video and for the further videos please subscribe my channel